Hello, Crusader Nation. Mr. Bammer here, Director of Campus Ministry at Lancaster Catholic High School. Um, and we join you today uh, at the beginning of the second week of Lent just to give you a little pep talk. Uh, Lent is it's all rolling, we're good, we're running. Some of you are probably uh, well into your uh, withdrawal symptoms of the things you gave up, and some of you probably are just now thinking, oh, maybe I should do something for Lent. Um, and that's okay. Um, we have six whole weeks. Uh, the church gives us six, six weeks, uh, these 40 days, so there's plenty of time to restart or to start late. It's all good. Um, so, but I thought what I do is give you a quick little rundown and some general ideas on how to make this an awesome Lent. Not so the Lent's awesome, so that the Easter is awesome because that's what Lent is. It's a time of preparation to get ready for Easter, which is the most spectacular time of year for, for Christians and Catholics. So, a couple of things. Number one, the overall idea of Lent, once again, is a time of preparation, okay? We're taking a, we're hitting a pause button on some areas of our lives uh, to kind of reset, kind of reset some things. Um, as our lives get rolling, even in high school, you get rolling, you get into a groove, and, and sometimes you need to just take a pause and a deep breath, um, you know, like a weekend. You know, you get a weekend, you take a deep breath, you get back, you get re-energized for class or, or, or sports on, on Monday and the, and the beginning of the week. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a, a break from some things to kind of reset our lives. The approach, so what should your approach be in Lent? Number one, don't try to conquer all 40 days. Focus on the day at hand. You know, for some of us, you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up, um, I'm gonna have social media. And you go in, I'm gonna have social media for all of Lent. Um, and you don't make it through a half day because you're thinking about all 40 days and you can't do 40 days. Think about just that day. Like just today, I'm going to give up something or just today, I'm going to work on trying to be uh, kinder or more charitable to, to people that I've run across. Live in the moment. And that's actually a great Christian philosophy or, or ideal to live by, which is live in the moment. Enjoy the day that you have. This is the day you have. Yesterday you can't change. Tomorrow you have no control over, but you have control over today. So don't try to conquer all 40 days at one time. Take it one day at a time. Um, just remember, this is spiritual work. Everything we do that really has value is work. School work, sports, music, um, uh, anyone who tries to really excel at something, it's work, okay? Now the work can be fun, and you know the work leads to a great reward. In this case, hopefully, uh, you know, a joy-filled life, uh, and more hopefully, eternity with, with your Savior, Jesus, and God. Uh, but remember, it's work. And also remember, too, that God rewards the smallest effort. We don't need to do big, great things to impress God. Just the desire to become holier and to develop your relationship with God more deeply. That's really enough for God to work with them. You get credit for that. Um, and you also don't necessarily lose light. Like if you, if you fall a little bit, you go back a little bit and you, you, you work for, it's a, it's a give and take, a back and forth, like any relationship, it builds on itself. So don't worry about doing grand things. Which leads me to start small. Any effort you have, whether it's something that you're trying to give up for a while or something additional you're doing, start small, just hard enough that it's a little, a little bit of a challenge, but not so hard that you fail. Because discouragement is the number one tool that, that Satan uses to draw us away from God. And discouragement can come from trying to do a good thing, but trying to do so much that you fail. And that leads me to the other thing, which is we rely too much on our own abilities. Jesus told St. Faustina, who gave his Divine Mercy Chaplet, she complained, Jesus, I make, these, I make these commitments in the morning and by the evening I've broken most of them. He says, because you rely too much on your own abilities. Come to me and I will give you the grace necessary to overcome these things. So what can you do? Real quick, in 30 seconds, pray. If you're Catholic, go to communion, go to confession more often. Here at Lancaster Catholic, we have an opportunity for you to try spiritual direction. Give it a try. Have a conversation with, with Father Arena or one of our other priests who, who may become available soon. Give spiritual direction a try. Give up something. I know the, the modern thing is, hey, you don't have to give up something, just do something. I say give up something. Give up something good. 
because the lack of that thing will help you appreciate that thing more later. And also the sacrifice of giving up things mirrors the sacrifice of Jesus who gave up things, okay? So you wanna give some things up and find some silent time, practice silence. Even for you, if it's five minutes, you've never had five minutes of silence, give yourself five minutes of silence. If you're in school here, come to the chapel, five minutes of silence. And once again, fast and abstain. Give up something, fast. Give up, give up eating big meals for the day. If you can't do that, fast for a single day from something, okay? But you can do it. Main thing is, if you need some help, come to Campus Ministry. Talk to Ms. Sabalski and myself, Mr. Bam, and our Father Arena, and we'll help you figure out a great plan so that you can have a, a great Lent, but not just a great Lent. Remembering the goal, the goal is be holy and be saintly. God bless, and we'll talk to you next week.